I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview for you, Leo, for the week of April the 25th. Now, it's all happening in your career zone, just how you like it, okay? Um, we've got Mercury there, the Sun, Venus is going to move in this week. So let's go through that. Um, Mercury is going to go retrograde. It's a planet of communication, commerce, media, uh, creativity, and it's going to go retrograde on the 28th. Now, this is going to make five planets retrograde. So moving into May is going to be a good time to research, get things in order, do a lot of planning, business planning uh, particularly, and uh, you know, just make sure that you're heading in the direction that you want to head, okay? So if you need to make a little bit of a course uh you know change then this month you have an opportunity to to do that and get that into place um now let's not forget that uh, when a planet does go retrograde during that time when it's either coming in or out of that retrograde transit can be the most disruptive and then it settles down uh, until it comes out of the retrograde. So this week, uh, things are going to be a, a little bit or can be a little bit disruptive. So if you've got anything that you really need to tackle um, and get sort of set and locked down, I would do it immediately, uh, you know, immediately at the start of the week. Uh, then try to leave it until next week, particularly if you've got any um, sensitive or awkward discussions that you need to have with someone. Try to get it out of the way, you know, first thing in the week. Uh, now, when Venus moves in at the end of, uh, towards the end of the week, then um, this is a great time to start networking and, you know, get out there and mix, mingle and meet people. Meet people that you can meet people now that really can help you in some way move ahead. So I, you know, I like this. Um, it's also good for money as well. Let's not forget, Venus rules relationships and money. Uh, so uh, you want to feel worthy of Venus always with Venus, particularly with Jupiter and Venus, that you feel worthy of attracting what you want in life and you're not blocking it on some level. And um, the other aspect that's right at the end of the week is the, you do have a connect connection between the Sun and Neptune. I love this because it's Neptune's very inspirational and imaginative and uh, gets that creativity sort of going and that thought process. The sun helps to ground it more, particularly as the sun is in uh, the sign of Taurus and which is your career area. Uh, so, you know, even though over a retrograde, a Mercury retrograde period, it's not a great time to initiate things, it's a terrific time to uh, get plans together and get things organized. Okay, so I like that very much. All right, I hope you have a great week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.